Hi everyone, Greeno here and welcome to another episode here on my Greeno Eats channel. Now today I've got something I'm going to really enjoy lined up. We're going to be looking at what makes the best bacon roll. Let's go take a look. Now before we get the bacon in the pan, I just wanted to ask you, if you do enjoy this video, please drop a like on there for me. It all helps with the algorithm and all that. And if you've got any comments about what you think your preferred choice would be, or any choices you've got that I haven't included in this video, let me know that in the comment section below. And of course, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. Click that button and ding your little bell for notifications so you don't miss anything coming up on the channel. Right, let's get the bacon in the pan and see what the three options I've got lined up for you are. So, as you're going to see from a little bit of B-roll there, the three options that I've gone with are a bacon roll with tomato ketchup, a bacon roll with brown sauce, and a BLT. Now, of course, it's a debate that's raged since the depths of time over what is the best sauce to have with your breakfast, whether you have ketchup, whether you have brown sauce. Generally speaking, I'm a brown sauce man, but I'm not going to let that cloud my judgment today. I'm going to make an impartial decision. Uh, for those of you outside of the UK, brown sauce is very much a British institution. It's a kind of sweet, tangy sauce. I guess the closest thing you'd find maybe in the States would be a steak sauce, that kind of thing. Uh, but it goes very, very nicely on, a, on an English breakfast. Right, so first up is going to be the tomato ketchup option. Let's give it a go. And so here it is. You can see the tomato ketchup there on the bottom layer. Stuffed with bacon, just two rashes of back bacon in there. Uh, I've used finger rolls, white finger rolls. I think they work pretty well for a, for a uh, bacon roll, just because they're the same sort of shape as bacon. <laughs> you don't tend to get it in many places. Most places give you a, in a round roll, but I think a, a finger roll or maybe a baguette or something probably is the best option. Right. Give it a taste. Mmm. Oh yeah, that's yummy. So I've used back bacon in these sandwiches. I dry fried it. Personally, I think that's the best way to cook bacon. It creates its own fat to cook in as it's cooking. But you get those kind of crispy, gnarly little bits. Some of it's a little bit softer, some of it's a bit crispier. Yeah, I really like that. So with the red sauce here, the ketchup, it's obviously quite sweet. The bacon is very salty. The bread is just cheap white bread. Again, I think that's ideal for bacon sandwiches. And like I say, I think the sweetness of the ketchup and the saltiness of the bacon. It's actually a pretty good combination. Yeah, I like that. Right, time to move on to the brown sauce. And so here is the roll with the brown sauce. You can just about see that on the bottom layer of the, uh, the bun there. Again, a couple of rashes of back bacon in there. Just for consistency, make sure all of them are the same. Let's give this one a try. Mmm. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, I really like brown sauce. And then maybe as a as a southerner, I'm supposed to go more towards ketchup. Brown sauce probably is considered slightly more northern. Um, but yeah, I think the uh, there's almost like a pickly kind of flavour to it. It's it's vinegary. It's sharp. It's savoury. Mm. <laughs> and I think with the salty bacon, like I say it becomes more of a, an all-round savoury experience. I mean, I love brown sauce with sausages. That's great. But here on the bacon too, really delicious. Okay, we've got one more left to try. That is the BLT. A bit of a controversial choice, I think. Let's take a look at it. So here's our BLT. Again, a couple of rushes of back bacon in there. Some mixed leaves, some little baby cherry tomatoes in there, and a little bit of mayonnaise. Now the reason why I say this is controversial is I always think of breakfast for a bacon roll and I'm not sure you'd go with salad on, on your breakfast but it seems to be the uh, one of the most popular ways of eating a bacon roll as a BLT so you know we'll consider it brunch maybe shall we and give it a go. Mmm. That is good. I think the freshness of the salad in there adds another dimension, another texture, of course. These little cherry tomatoes I've got are very, very sweet. And when you bite into them, they give you a really kind of juicy pop. It kind of contrasts against the salty bacon quite nicely. Mmm. I think the mayo in there, again the creaminess of that with the salty bacon, and quite a nice contrast. Overall, yeah, I like it. And it's not something I'd eat for breakfast, but it's damn tasty. Right then, let's go through it. So, the red sauce, enjoyed it. Nice bit of sweetness, contrasted against the salty bacon, very tasty. The brown sauce, really enjoy that kind of savoury, umami kind of vibe you get from that. A little bit vinegary, goes with the bacon very nicely. The BLT, yeah, delicious. Not a breakfast sandwich by any stretch of the imagination. But the, uh, the different sort of, the juicy elements of the salad with their little bit of different texture, creamy mayo, yeah, not bad at all. So how am I gonna rank them? Well. I'd love to see what you're going to say in the comments below, see if you agree with me, let me know your thoughts. I'm going to go in third place, the BLT. Like I say, I think of a bacon roll as a breakfast thing. That's the only thing that's letting it down really. It's not something I'd really want to have for breakfast with the salad in there. <laughs> Bit of a salad dodger, as you can maybe tell. Okay, so what's going to come in second place? Do you know what, for me, this occasion, it's actually going to be the brown sauce, which surprises me. I enjoyed the savoury bit um, and overall and sort of that umami kind of flavour you get from it all but for me just on this occasion that little bit of sweetness from the ketchup with the saltiness of the bacon in this kind of cheap mushy white bread roll just seemed to work maybe it's something that speaks to my childhood a little bit more I guess you know we had ketchup growing up on uh, on our bacon <laughs> So perhaps that's what it is, it's a little nostalgia thing. But for me, it, yeah, it just tastes a little, a little bit better. I mean, you're talking fine, fine margins, really. But yeah, today for me, the red sauce wins it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And let me know in the comments section below, like I say, if you agree with the choices that I've made. Perhaps you've got your own ideas of what you would put in a bacon roll. I'd love to see what that is. Maybe a, we can have a follow-up video with some of the viewers' suggestions. If you have enjoyed the video, please drop a like on there for me. And like I say, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, why not consider clicking that little button and dinging your bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the content coming up on the channel. 
So it just remains for me to thank you for watching, and I will see you soon for another episode here on Greeno Eats. Bye for now. <laughs>